tonight. Oh yeah. We in this piece today, baby. Shout out to the Lighticus, man. Shout out to my fellow Lighticus, baby. Shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all staying subscribed to my channel, man. Showing me love. And for those who have not subscribed to my channel, man, go ahead and give me a sh If you like this video and you find it informative, go ahead and give me a subscribe. You dig? And but with that being said, man, like I said, man, I hope y'all receiving this video in a blessed, man. I hope y'all receiving it a blessed. Having a blessed day, man. It's kind of windy out here a little bit, but not too bad. But, man, I'm going to get right to the point, man. Bam. Y'all review today gonna be over there about this Honda. Huh, that's a Honda. Honda Santa Fe, man. Go ahead, walk around this bad boy. Get a good look at it. Thing looking good. And we're gonna get straight to the action, baby. We ain't even gonna play no gosh darn it games. Jitig. First off, man, I'll show y'all the key look like. That's what the key look like. Nothing special. I hate that what I hate about it off the gate, I'm gonna let you know. This ain't no push button start. You gotta use a key. Come on, baby. It's 2020. 2019, 2020, we we, we, we we need just push button start. But with that being said, man, let's get on to it, man. First off, lights. The lights, man, I, li I like the lights, but they do look a little kind of small. They not that big of lights, they like this, you know that it's like one of those little Jeeps that they got out with them little thin lights. These kind of like the same lights, man. They nice looking lights though, but they, they kind of little, man. Like it really ain't even no lights in the front of it. But I don't know, maybe SUVs are going to that. But then when you go down to these lights, these fog lights and daytime running lights, these are huge. Look how big these lights is. I can put my whole hand into fog lights. Look how big those is. Those are huge, which I like, man. They make, it, they make the car look tight because when you go little, then you go big. That's still tight, man. Make it look real good. Got the little vents right here, the little cutout, little honeycomb shaped little vent, vintage vents. I wish they was open instead of solid in the middle, but hey, it is what it is. Then you got the, the Honda sign in the front the grill as you look at the grill the grill looking real nice real spectificent spectificent special edesho you know what i'm saying i like what i'm seeing right there got the honda sign right there grill is kind of i like the grill because it's real open it's really like, it, it looks like it's supposed to be like that it ain't it's not overdone can't go wrong when it ain't overdone you know what i'm saying then we go down to the bottom grilly as you can see the bottom grilly is basically just like the top grill but it's a little the little cutouts are a little more smaller, which is cool. It's supposed to look like that. Shout out to R&B. And uh, you got the fine lines at the top of the, at the top of it is, I like the hood. It's kind of plain. They probably could have did a little bit more. Cause you see how the lines just go like that. That's basically, it's like, it's like, it's like they just threw it on there. It's still cool though. Because it, it does go with the SUV. If you look at the lines, it does go with it, as you can see. See how it sit? It looked like it's supposed to be like that. It looked like it's it's not overdone. Like if the whole front of this SUV, it's not overdone. If you look at it, it's like everything is like gold. It, it flows with every everything flows together quite well. Even the lights, even though they kind of little, you know, even though the lights is kind of little, they still go with the, the the SUV. It's not. It's like everything is just right. The Honda sign. You, you know these Honda signs is real big. They, the emblem is real big, but it doesn't look like it's out of place. You know, it doesn't look out of place, which I like that about the front. This bad boy looks good, man. Let's go ahead and go to the side of this bad boy. And you, as you see, the lights are wrap around. You see the lights wrap around, which is nice, man. I like that, man. I hate when lights just sit in the front. I hate when they do that, man. I hate when they do stuff like that. And then we're going to go ahead down to the rims. This is, this is basically, the rims is pretty much basic. You know what I'm saying? Nothing special about the rims. Pretty much basic basic alloy rims i think these are some 18 inch rims if i'm not mistaken 17s they're actually 17s look how fat that tire is 17 inches on, on the tire i think they should have put 20s on here and and they could have did a little more with the rims but this is not the top notch version of the santa fe so of course they're not gonna give you the top notch rims but they could have did they could at least give you standard 20s i think it should at least all, all versions of these could at least came with standard 20s instead of 17 inches come on 17 inches go on the car but hey I'm not the one that designed it. We're going to work our way to the rear view, the, the, uh, the side mirrors. I like the side mirrors. You got the lane assist. Just in case you go out of the lane, you got the lane assist on, on, in the mirror, which is nice. You got the windows, they nice and it's nice and open space. You got your fishbowl. Fishbowl windows looking real good. Man, it's so hot out here. Dang. Then you got the, they got the little chrome at the bottom of here, which is nice. I like how they got the little chrome right there. That's cool. They try to make it real, they try to make it look luxurious and sporty at the same time. I see what they try to do right there. 
if we back up a little bit you can see what i'm talking about see how they got the little lines on it and everything you see how the lines is they try to make it look luxurious and on top of sporty hey i don't blame them they did their thing they should have made these door handles right here these door handles they should have been chrome i wish the door handles was chrome that would have been real that would have made it look real good that that would look that would have went good with that if the door handles was chrome and the door handles should have been chrome so they would have boom you see you see what i'm going it'll be chrome 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 you get me you get what i'm saying you see what i'm trying to say man I, you hey you know sometimes i should be a, i should be a car designer it's something i should be a car designer let me work our way to the back man all the way to the back man we got the back lights how they coming from the back from the side of the car going all the way to the back can't beat that man look good then you got the little you got your little lights right here that's tight actually i like that i like how these lights is with the little the brushed chrome it's not chrome brushed metal look it's like a brushed metal chromish look and it's got the little pipe sticking out the back i hate the pipe just on i hate that there's only one pipe you know you already know how t like it's just me man i don't know something about when something don't got two pipes it irks me because i feel like the, the car ain't breathing right i feel like it needs to have two see how it's got this just one sitting out the back man that's whack that's <laughs> two thumbs down for that that's trash i hate that but that's I hate it. I ain't even gonna say it look good because I don't like it. I, I think it's ugly. I ain't gonna sit there and sugarcoat it. I don't like it. I, it should have been two pipes out the back. It'll made it'll made it look more way. It will make it look way more sporty because you got the two lights out there. You got the two lights sitting on the bottom bumper. It would have made it look like it's. It'll be. It it, it, it would have looked better because I, I like how the Honda sign is sitting out there. The Honda's emblem is positioned just right. You know what I'm saying? Then you got your Honda Santa Fe. The Santa Fe sitting out there with the little Santa Fe design. Man, I like that. I like everything about the back of this so far. Except that one little pipe, man. It should have been two. That one pipe, man, I hate that. Ugh, disgusting. And I like how they got that little spoiler. I know it's not a spoiler, but I call it a spoiler. Every time I see an SUV, one of those protruding out the back, man, I call it a spoiler. That's a spinolier. Yeah, that's a spoiler, baby. Then you got your little antenna up there, your little remote control RC car antenna sitting at the top. That is not an antenna, that's a radio. That's for the radio, for those who don't know. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yeah. But let's see what this let's see what this car offers, man. It's got 22 miles in the city, 29 highway. That's all right. That's pretty good. 22 in the city. 22 in the city is good. That's better than pretty good. That's better than pretty good. Then you got it. It's a four-cylinder, 2.4 liter, 185 horsepower. We got your Android Auto Play. Apple CarPlay, you got a backup cam, blind spot monitoring, Bluetooth, keyless entry, USB for voice control, adjustable headrest, alloy wheels. They got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of goodies up in this bad boy. And this is just a SE right here. This ain't even a big boy. This is a front wheel drive. Yeah, this ain't even a top notch one, and they got all this stuff going on. Look closely i'll let you see everything that way if you want to pause it you can see everything that's going on with this se honda santa fe se see everything that's going on with it you know what i'm saying this is a particular model it's a 2019 sun is in the way but it's a 2019 and if you want to purchase this vehicle just follow that right there call these any one of these numbers right here right there and they will get you in contact with somebody to get you this video but enough of that but yeah it's got a whole bunch of stuff backup camera brake assist bucket seats child proof locks cruise control daytime running lights dual airbags disc brakes electronic messaging assist this thing is crazy a lot of good shit a lot of good a lot of goodies man it's got a lot of goody goody woody tooties got a goodies let's pop this hood real quick man and ladies you know i ain't forget about y'all ain't just men watching this a couple ladies out here checking out t I opened that with one hand. I opened that with one hand. That's nice. I didn't even need no help. I opened that with one hand. Yes, one hand. There's the motor right there. And all the good stuff, man. That's your air filter. I ain't never seen an air filter particularly designed like this, how it sits like that. But it's nice, though. Battery right there. Motor. All your goodies. That's fuse box. It's all the goodies, man. I will leave a link in the description for more things about this car, a little more things, get more specs on it. You know, I ain't going to leave you hanging. I'm going to put specs in the description. So if you're looking for specs, go to the description and you will get those specs. Jitig! And that's enough of that. Uh, for my mechanics, as you can see, it holds itself, the hood holds itself up, and you can easily get in and have access. It sits really low. As you can see, the truck, the, the SUV sits low. 
I'm only 5'7", and I can easily walk up to this bad boy. And if I was a mechanic and work on here without having to step on a step stool, a step ladder, or anything like that. Shit, it. But yeah, with that being said, man, we're going to get on to the inside of this bad boy, man. I'm going to holler at y'all in a second. I get, I'll holler at y'all when I get back inside this bad boy. Man, my bad, man. I forgot to let y'all see this, man. Go ahead. Your backup camera is positioned back here, man. I apologize for that. Bam. Backup camera is in the back right there. It sits positioned directly on the, on the left side of the Honda sign, directly under the left side of the Honda sign. And if you want to open this bad boy, you just put this button. You got to pull it up yourself. You gotta give it a little tug when you hit the button. You gotta give it a little tug. And that's what it looks, that's, you got a plenty of space. Plenty of space. Bam. Little secret compartments for some little goodies and some little snacks. You know, ice, pops, ice and pops, chips and snacks, lunch meats. Bam. I gave you everything you could put in there if you was going on a little adventure. And you can slide that right on top of it. Keep it nice and cool. Pull that up. There goes your jack right there. And uh, the spare tire will be positioned underneath. As you can see, it's underneath. Yep. And if you want to, you can easily get in here and lay back here and chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you a oh, I can't get no grip. I'm going to give you a good little look. You know what I'm saying? Look how I'm just chilling in here, man. You can go to the, 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 the drive-in the drive movies and just chill. Watch a movie. Get your little boo thing to the side of y'all. Y'all can sit back, relax, eat some popcorn, sip on some sodas and eat some up. And, uh gummy worms with the sugar on them mmm delicious <laughs> yeah man but that's enough of that man let's get on to the inside of this bad boy Jig. shut this bad boy up damn let's go in the back seat first man see what the back talking about see how spacious dacious the back is we be in the back seats now as you can see look at all that room I got you like those shoes right there they crazy ain't they three hundred dollars mm -hmm. yep this is the back this is particular model so it's not leather let's let that up it's not leather, but it's cloth. It's a nice little cloth. I don't know what kind of cloth seats these are, but these bad boys is nice. Real comfortable, man. They're nice and grip your little booty cheeks, you know what I'm saying? Look, they got a little line for each booty cheek. Bam, bam. Left cheek, right cheek, left cheek, left cheek, right cheek. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they got the little hair rest. They go up and down. It's a seat. This is six, three people in the back. Two in the front. This is a five-seater SUV, if you wanted to know. You got the speakers in the doorway right here. The door is nothing special. You got your window button right there. You got your cup holder, your tater chip holder. You put the tater chips in there. Tater chips, tater chips, tater chips for those who don't know. Then you got your folder holder for important business things or iPods, I mean iPads. And uh, this is pretty much the back, man. You got your little um, charger ports right there for two people who can charge their phone. Third person, you are shit out of luck. Yep, pull that down. You only got four people riding with you. They got their cup holders back here too. Right there. If you didn't see how I pulled that down, it's right there in the middle. Just in case you didn't see. Bam. Bam. That's it, man. That's it with the back, man. Back here, you you got your... Oh, shit. You're going too far. Yeah, that ain't what that for, but I just wanted to hit you with that and let y'all see. That, that's, how, that's what it looked like in the back. If you're sitting in the back, you can see. If you're sitting directly in the back, you can't see nothing. You got to lean over a little bit. See what I'm saying? Yep, let's go ahead and go to the front. Jig, man, if, that, if I keep on almost, and if you before we even get into this bad boy, look, you got your Santa Fe sign right there. You see that? It says Santa Fe. Bam, you got your cup holders right there. Mm hmm. You got your cup holders, tater chip holders, gummy worm holders, whatever you want to put, whoppers, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? You got your cigarette holder right here, slash phone holder. There go all your little buttons. Window buttons, lock buttons, and control your little mirror over there. There goes your brush metal handle, door handle. You got a brush metal handle. Push that in, it's locked. Pull it out, it's not. Get on inside this bad boy. Man, it is hot. I'm going to take this hat off. I ain't even going to play with you. Yeah, I'm taking this hat off. Yeah, yeah in case y'all thought T-Light was bald-headed. T-Light got a head full of hair. Yeah. And, um, i going to slide this back a little bit. Bam. There goes your steering wheel. You got all your mold. Let me put the let me put this key in here. In this, I don't know. Tea kettle in here. I don't put the key in my pockets. I'm crazy. See what I said? This ain't no. It's no push button in here. It ain't no push button in here. It's just a bam. Put the key in there. Put the key in the ignition. Turn it. And we gonna turn that air on a little bit. We gonna turn that air on a little bit. Let it pop out a little bit of air, man. Cause ooh, it's hotter than a man. Fish grease in here. 
boom as like i said there goes the steering wheel got your little honda emblem in the middle you got your little drive modes if you hit that see how it's when i hit that button see that control everything that's the radio stations they go control your phone volume is right there that's gonna get, flip the radio station see how i'm flipping the radio station as you can see i'm using this button right here and flipping it there goes your cruise control over here it's gonna control your menus as you can see i'm controlling the menus again let me show you i'm hitting this button controlling the menus going up and down got you a little two inch cluster i would say a little more maybe three inches maybe three inch cluster and all that's the, all, all your little controls over here little pages and stuff like that display mode keep on hitting you got your driver's assist what else we got trip planner tire pressure everything's good on that then you got your rpms over here engine heat engine uh coolant how hot your engine is over there there goes your miles per hour it says it can get 160 i'm not gonna say it can't but i'm damn sure not gonna say it can there goes your fuel miles right there and then you, again you got your little cluster we got 90 miles with the fuel left as you can see then you got this nice little display i think this is a real nice display I, i'm gonna say it's about maybe four or five inches high six inches wide but it looks good it's touch as you can see hit the little touch button phone all your little phone stuff your radio set up you got an aux button slide it over bam it's touch slide it over real quick boom then you can hit home right there you got a set up got everything basically everything and everything basic cars got this thing got and you can also control everything over here with the little dials right here bam bam you know what i'm saying hit home see i'm controlling the stuff hit the radio button that's gonna pop up on the radio turn that down just in case media button that's for phone right there that's how you change your radio stations set up i don't know what that's for that took you back to all the apps and that's pretty much it on the little screen and i like the way the screen is positioned as you can see the screen is positioned quite well can't complain on that and you control your climate with down here this little area right here that's your fan that's gonna be for ac or heat right there how to how you want the wind to hit you in the face i mean the air to hit you in your face there goes your front mirror, I mean front windshield, rear windshield. AC on, AC off. There goes your little aux port. Another little charger port right there for you just in case you ain't got enough. If you two ain't enough. There goes your little cup holder. You can put anything you want in there. If you could be, if you was really cool, you put a whole bunch of gummy bears in there. Fill it all the way up to the top, man. That way you can just dip your hand in there and throw them in your mouth. That slides back and forth. That could be a phone holder. As you can see, I put my phone in there if I want to. Bam. See, I put my phone in there. It could be a phone holder. Bam. Shut that on up. I don't think you got no cup holders. I ain't seeing no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cup holders right here. Come on, T-Light. Got your cup holders right there. Bam, bam. There's your gear shifter. It's like a plasticky, leathery type of stuff. You got your leather wrap. It's wrapped around with leather with the black stitching. You got park, reverse, neutral, drive. That's it. And you got these little controls right here. Park assist, on and off. That's pretty much it, man. This uh, it doesn't have any garage opener things right here. It doesn't have. I don't see that anywhere. So you got your hit the button for your lights, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it's it for the inside. It's pretty much basically. That's pretty much basically it inside. Nothing really special. It's a Honda Santa Fe. This is the SE version, so it ain't gonna have all the bells and whistles. But it got a lot of for, for it to be the base model. It's got a whole bunch of damn bells and whistles. You can't complain with all the stuff it's giving you. It's giving you pretty much everything except the leather seats and the heated seats and the, and the sunroof. That's it. That's all you're not getting. And probably a nice little nicer nicer wheels. But other than that, that's it, man. I'm about to hit. I'm gonna get back to y'all, man. I'm gonna hit y'all with a little test drive real quick. Hopefully, my hair looking specnificent. If not, deal with it, baby. <laughs> but I'm gonna holler at y'all in a second. Jiddig! Let's get it, baby. See what this bad boy talking about. See what this bad boy talking about. See what this Honda Santa Fe talking about. Man, I was sitting here jiggling and jaggling with this damn camera. You know, I'm new to this headset. Let's see what this bad boy talking about. Shit, this little this little horsepower pretty good. It ain't like super peppy, but it's good enough. Adjust this seat. 
Get that a seat right, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, everything is cool. The steering wheel's pretty, pretty, pretty tight, super tight. It's, it ain't got no, it ain't wiggly, wiggly, but it ain't super tight either. The view is pretty good. I say the view is all right. I can see, I can see pretty damn. I, pretty, I can see pretty damn good. Tell you the truth, looking out the side, looking out the mirror, I can see pretty goddamn good. Tell you the truth. I mean, the cabin sound good as you can see. It ain't a lot of noise but I ain't in a noisy area either so I can't really 100% say it ain't it's great but so far it's great hey I'm doing man, I ain't even pressing my gas and I was cruising fast I like how everything is right there right right by me I like I, I like the, I like the way the screen is set up how it just sits out it ain't sitting in it's like I mean, you feel a little I feel a little high techy right now I feel a little high techy the steering wheel feels good Whatever kind of material they use on the steering wheels feels good. It's a little bumpy, but it feels good. It's nice and you can grip it real good. It's cruising, but it's, it's moving pretty good. It ain't super fast. I got my foot all the way down and really ain't going that fast in Mexico. We ain't going that. But it's moving though. As you can see, the trees flying past me. It's moving pretty well, you know what I'm saying? It's moving. Damn, damn it's moving real good. Oof. God, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad Mexico got them good them good streets. It's moving pretty. This thing's pretty peppy though. Oh, I burnt them tires. I squeaked them tires a little bit. <laughs> squeaked them tires a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this thing it ain't super fast, but damn, this motherfucker move good though. Bad boy move good. Oh, Honda, Honda Safe, Santa Fe moving real good. I call I said Safe. It's Santa Fe. Come on, T Light. But yeah, this thing moving good, man. Everything is cool, you know. I like how the hand rest is right there. Rest the hand real good. The gear shifter right below, right, right. Everything is right positioned just just right. Not overly done. It ain't trying to be it ain't trying to be all stylish and shit so you can't and making it all awkward. It's not even awkward. It's really nice, actually. Look at that bad boy right there. Look at that bad boy right there. Ooh, look at that thing right there. Ooh, he came out. He brought the muscle out today, though. Dow. I'm gone. Man, it's real responsive. It's real responsive. That little horsepower that it's got, boy, it give you it give it all to you. It don't hold back. No, it don't hold nothing back. It give you everything. It give you everything you got. It's comfortable in here, man. I got the AC on one, and it's it's kind of chilly, willy up in this bad boy. I mean, everything is positioned just right, though. I like I, I, the, the seats, though. The, this little material that's in these seats is nice. It's cloth, but this this is nice cloth seats. These probably the best cloth seats I ever sit my little gluteus maximus on. What would I rate this car? I'm not really a crossover SUV type of guy, so I'll probably give it a six. Cause I'm not into I'm not into crossover. I'm really not even into SUVs. Period. I'm a car guy. I'm a muscle car guy myself. But if I was, if I ain't have any choice, just say if I ain't have any choice. I had to get an SUV. I I would get this a seven. Then I would give it a seven because this is a SE, so it doesn't have the leather seating and all that. I'm pretty sure they probably. Hopefully, they offer a different option of motor other than this little bitty motor so I, I would give it a seven because it is comfortable reason i'm giving it a seven is is a se on top of that i don't really like the 17 inch rims i think they could have came with they could have made it standard 20 inch rims but other than that i like everything i like how they got the little uh vents right in the middle so you can just get right to them self-explanatory how to use them the dashboard it looked like it's plastic but uh i don't know if this is plastic or probably is plastic but it don't feel plastic when you touch it it don't feel plasticky and i like how everything is sitting it's like it's like sitting away from everything is separate from each other i like that some people don't like that but i do it make it seem like they took their time put some detail into it took a little bit of time instead of being all rushy to make it feel like they really took their time with this vehicle when you can look at you can tell that they put some they put some love into this vehicle because it's not sloppily put together. Like I said, the only reason I'm not giving it, 
a nine or ten is because it's an SE and it does it has cloth seats. I like leather seats. I like cloth seats too, but I like leather seats too. When you if I'm gonna have a crossover SUV, I want to have leather seats. Also, that 17 inch rims, I am not feeling that at all. I mean at all. But other than that, man, it's a it's a great vehicle. I I, I like it. I mean, I'm driving with one hand. That, that should tell you something. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be driving with one hand. You can believe that. But yeah. Go ahead and go back to R&B. And I like the turn signal. It ain't all extra loud. Click, 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 click. But yeah, this thing is nice, man. You know, you can you got the great view. The view is great. You can see everything. It ain't like, it's not, nothing obstructing your view. So... Back up, cause I'm gonna have to get that thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get that thumbnail picture. You dig? Look at King Kong. You got some shit all on your butt. <laughs> but yeah, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all in a second. You dig? I'm back, baby. Yeah, that was a good ride in the Santa Fe, man. It definitely was a good ride in the Santa Fe. I appreciated it. I like. I liked it. Like I said, I give it a seven out of ten, just because of those right there. Those made me give it a seven, 17 inches. And that one little pipe, garbage, I didn't like that. Also, I didn't like the door handles, how they didn't go chrome. They should've went chrome or brushed metal. They should've did the door handles the same way they did the little brushed metal. And that little lights, I didn't like that either. But other than that, man, it was all good, baby. It was all good, man. I, I definitely would say if you were, if you were in the SUVs, man, you probably would like this. I'm not an SUV guy, but uh, at the same time, you in the SUVs, you definitely would like this bad boy because it is a good looking vehicle. Hands down, it, it drives like a goddamn dream. So with that, man, hey, man, different strokes of different folks. But with that being said, man, I'm gonna leave y'all with a little bit of that positivity. Yeah. Stay away from negative Ned, negative Nancy. You don't need them in your life, man. Stay, be around positive people. Stay, hang around people that's going to uplift you and push you to be better than what you is today and always going to support you in everything that you do. Don't be a follower. Be a leader. And know that you're great. Every time you wake up in the mirror, always ask yourself, why not me? Because you deserve the world, baby. And I always shoot for the sky. Even though the sky ain't the living, man, you got to shoot for something. And with that being said, it's your boy, t Light. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I'm out this piece, jig. That's what they call me. Promise that you never be lonely. Be the fan. That's what they call.